Oftentimes there are professionals like a dentist, like a lawyer who are trained in that thing, how to be a lawyer, how to be a dentist. They are passionate about the practice of that thing, but they may not have a natural tendency for being a business owner and the university they are trained at in this thing may exclude business management truly. So they come out of the program knowing how to do their profession, but not knowing how to run a business that provides that service. And so their business may fail, even though they're a good provider of that service because they don't understand how to run a business. And so they either are forced to work for other people where their earning potential goes down, or they may run a business that may not be as successful as it could be because they are too busy trying to be a business owner and a service provider. And they sometimes don't think about hiring a partner or a manager to look at the other side of it. That's very, very common. Um... We actually once did a really deep work around micro business with uh, with Clado Partners. A micro business meaning, you know, those kind of companies of just a handful of people. And typically most entrepreneurs in the micro business space walk against that problem that they they love delivering the value, right? Whatever their service or product might be, but they really struggle with what we ended up calling the over headache. You know, overhead, overhead ache. Well, one of the things that I talk about these kinds of people with is, for example, the guy running the liquidation business. Is that he's great at marketing. 